Bandung. Hey Carl, how are you doing today? You're, you're good? I am doing absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I just wish that she'd actually get here. We've only got the place for another hour and we have to go home. And I'm going to eat whether we're married or not. So, hurry, Nikki. Love you. Look at that. Slow down. Yeah, go back. Do it again. <laughs> wow. If you want. Thank you, Dad. No, no problem. Oh, that's for after. <laughs> Don't blow me, it's not the same. Yep. Okay. Yes. Oh. Okay, so where do I stand? Okay. Right there. Am I in the shop? Andy? I don't know. <laughs> Is he standing beside you? Sure. Yes, he needs to be over here. I'm thinking that needs to be further away now. No, yeah. just leave it. Just yes, darling, you want me next to you? Huh? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, I hope everyone can hear me. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13 that love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it is not jealous or boastful, it is not proud, it is not rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not self-seeking, it is not irritable or resentful. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. It does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, believes all things, always trusts, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Love never ends. Marriage is a promise of love. Marriage is a commitment to life to the best that two people can find and bring out of each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth no other human relationship can equal. A physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confident, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. <laughs> there may come sometimes when the person's heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent or a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitments are stronger and felt more strongly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in, two, in the hearts of two people who love, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Okay, now we're gonna bring the rings forward. Go bring that to me. The ring, you bring it? The circle was a symbol of eternity with no beginning or end. The hole is the center in the center of the ring also had significance. It wasn't just considered a space, but rather a gateway or door, leading to things and events both known and unknown. 
To give a woman a ring signifies ever, never ending and immortal love. And I'm assuming it's a name for you. <laughs> And forsaking all others, keep only unto her, so long as you both shall live. Now repeat after me. I, Carl Green, I, Carl Green, take you with your mind, take you with your mind, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. In the presence of God and those who pray. In the presence of God and those who pray. I make this vow. I make this vow. Nikki my girl, do you take Carl Green to be your lawful husband? Will you love him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep only unto him, so long as you both shall live? I do. I, Nikki my I, Nikki my girl, take you, Carl Green, to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. So death do us part. In the presence of God and those here present, I make this vow. <laughs> this is a blessing on you from Psalms 1. Blessed are the man and woman who have grown beyond themselves and have seen through their separation. They delight in the way things are and keep their hearts open day and night. They are like trees planted near flowing rivers, which bear fruit when they are ready. Their leaves will not fail or wither. Everything they do will succeed. Having thus pledged yourself to the other, I do now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the province of Ontario, pronounce you husband and wife. I will be later when I realize what I've done. Okay, we're going to go down and sign papers. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 